All right, here YouTube. Uh, it's been a while since the last update. So um, we've had very little success. Uh, had a lot of corals, as you know, growing on the frag rack. And then I placed them in areas of the tank that I thought they'd be appropriate in. And uh, they were all growing for like a month or so. And I was really happy. And then suddenly they started to stop growing. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, I haven't been keeping up as much with my top off water, but I do check my alkalinity and um, my calcium and phosphates and uh, everything is pretty good. Um, I don't know what to do. I probably will just um, start from scratch again. Uh, the tank looks really good. I mean, the coral and algae is spreading everywhere. Um, it likes to spread on dead coral. So that was a holiday Christmas coral. I forgot what the name of it was. That was also a Montipora. That was a Montipora. Um, that was something there and it's not anything anymore. Um, this was a Duncan that was good up until like a week or two ago and then suddenly it stopped growing. It was sprouting heads and everything was great. That was a coral that looked great too and it, now it's just getting covered with coral and algae. This was a beautiful frog spawn that for some reason just decided it wasn't happy. It detached and it floated off into here and it looks like it's doing pretty well inside that little cave. These uh, trumpets or candy canes I think they are. They are doing great, but they pop off and then they float around. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, this was doing really well. I do have, uh, now I have this uh, nuisance um, anemones coming in everywhere. I'm probably gonna hit the visible ones up with some glue. Um, the fish again are always doing fine. I have no problem keeping fish. All my guys are here lawn mowers, cardinals. My fire, my fire fish is back there. He hides, um, been hiding more than usual lately. And I see him in there. So he's, I would assume he's fine. Um, but yeah, it's kind of uh, disheartening. The zini is just staying stable, not really growing much. The green star polyps are pretty much, they've spread a little bit, but nothing crazy. Like you get told. This coral here that was beautiful was just decaying also. Um, nothing's doing well. Uh, so I think it's gonna be taking out some skeletons or keeping them in there if they look fine with the coralline growing on them, doing a water change. And then I'm gonna measure my PAR. I'm gonna rent a device and see what kind of light I'm doing here. Cause I really don't know. I have a, a Geisman light four bulb, uh, ATI blue plus ATI coral plus, uh, Geisman actinic and I think uh, Azul blue are the lights I have. And they're about six inches above the water. Temperature's at 79 degrees, pretty, pretty stable. The house is at like 77 degrees. So the heater always runs a bit. And when the light comes on, the temperature still stays about the same. I had some air being pumped outside, from outside, inside. Um, I have a flow here. I have a bit of a wave action going back and forth. Um, I just don't know. I mean, I did have that whole problem with the dinos when I added the, um, the chemical that gets rid of algae. My algae went away. My phosphate went to zero. My, my nitrates went to zero. I had dinos everywhere. And maybe that was from that, like the corals uh, took a hit, but it doesn't show right away, it kind of lags. So my theory is corals lag when they die. That's the only thing I've got right now. So maybe if I started over, did a water change and started over, I would have more success. I don't know about that. I don't wanna risk it, especially right now, I don't have the money to do uh, corals like that because it's kind of meager times right now 
that's why I'm home doing it. You can see that thing got totally covered. These are doing well. Uh, I guess I can make a Zoa tank and be pretty successful. These are spreading like crazy. Those are pretty much staying the same or spreading more than what I had. Same thing with that one. So if I had a tank that was just all that everywhere, that would be pretty cool. So that might be something I can go for. Um, but again, it's kind of disappointing. Um, it's been a long time since I had this tank going. I'm okay with the way it looks. I mean, I got pink and colors coming in and the fish are happy. And I'll dabble in corals here and there. And um, that's it. So any suggestions you guys have for me, um, greatly appreciated. Again, my only solution is to do a water change, measure my chemistry, and uh, possibly uh, measure my PAR levels to see uh, maybe I'm over illuminating or I don't have enough light. It's hard for me to tell. I, it's just very deceiving. My wife thinks it's very bright. I don't. I could never have enough light. Um, and that's it, really. I, I don't know what to say. It's, uh, it's not going that good, but it's not a total disaster. I don't have hair algae and all that. All that phase seems to be gone. All my snails are alive. All my hermits are fine. They're alive. Um, occasionally they fight and I'm left with just the bigger ones. Um, I'm good with that. My big turbos are covered with coralline and they're constantly feeding on any kind of algae that develops. And um, I have trochus snails too, I think. Those are okay. I have a Nasaria snail that's in here. He pops up out of the gravel. I've had him for like two or three years. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I would like to get the Duncan to come back, but, and I would like to get these um, Acans. I guess they're lords or Acan lords to come back and that trumpet or candy cane and those have look those have gotten smaller and these have, these were looking bigger and bigger and then they just popped off and that frog spawn or a hammer coral I guess I can try to pull him out and put him down in a corner so he gets some light he's just floating around in there puffed up and happy um, those star polyps came off the back wall and they never spread they just popped off there because I think the current ripped them off and they're just hanging out right there maybe they're attaching to a rock and these are staying pretty much the same and same thing with the Xenia nothing's taken over like I was expecting um, except for coral and algae but it's you know it's uh it's not bad so that's a quick update and I hope everybody's doing good out there I uh, just figured I'd give a quick update. I know it's been a while. Have a good one.